Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the simple algorithm in staggered and collocated grid arrangements. In this presentation, first I'm going to give an introduction about the momentum equations. After that, the pressure velocity coupling problem is presented by discretizing the momentum equation over a one dimensional uniform grid. This is followed by the presentation of the staggered and collocated grid arrangements. Finally, the simple algorithm is presented in both the staggered and collocated grid arrangements. Before I present the simple algorithm for staggered and collocated grid arrangements, first let's have a look at the continuity and uh, momentum equations in their differential form. As can be seen, there are four equations and five unknowns, three velocity components, one pressure, and one density, U, V, W, P, and Rho. The fifth equation is the equation of state. Uh, therefore, density is obtained by the continuity velocity by the equations of momentum and pressure by the equation of state. These set of equations are used for compressible flows at high speeds. In other words, for compressible flows, the continuity equation is a transport equation for density that uh, together with the internal energy equation determines the pressure by the thermodynamic relationship uh, of the ideal gases law. Here, attention is given to the solution of incompressible flows, and there will be no discussion about the calculation of compressible flows. Okay? Uh, for incompressible flows, the continuity equation is written as follows. Okay? Uh, in this case, the density changes are due mainly to temperature, not pressure. Therefore, the, uh, therefore, in the uh, in the incompressible flows, there are four equations and four unknowns. The important issue here is the lack of an equation for pressure uh, for incompressible flows due to the lack of any relation between uh, between the density changes and pressure. A pressure equation must be obtained as a constraint on solving the momentum equations uh, to satisfy the continuity equation. Okay, uh, this pressure equation is obtained indirectly uh, through the continuity equation. Now let's dive into the problem of pressure velocity uh, coupling. Uh, first, let's discretize the momentum equation over uh, over a one dimensional uniform grid as shown here, okay? Here uh, uppercase W, P and E uh, indicate the centers of the western, central and eastern control volumes respectively. Uh, the west side uh, face of the central control volume is referred to by the lowercase w as shown here and the east side face of the central control volume uh, is referred to by the lowercase e. The distances between the nodes w and p and between the nodes p and e are identified by delta x w and delta x e respectively similarly the distance between uh, face w and face e is denoted by delta x let's now discretize the integral form of the pressure gradient over the central control volume which can be performed as follows okay uh, we can we can now um, uh, we can now write the discretized form of the momentum equation in the x direction in the following order as shown here okay the last term here uh, on the on the right hand side shows the source term from this relationship here, we can understand how the velocity and pressure are related to each other in the discretized uh, equation. Uh, velocity is related to, uh, to the pressure gradient by the pressure difference okay, between the two sides uh, of the node, as we can see here. By putting this relation here, right, uh, in the continuity equation, an equation for pressure can be obtained. 
okay since the pressure values are stored in the nodes the next step is to uh, obtain the values of the pressure on the control volume surfaces p lowercase w and p lowercase e in terms of the pressure values in the nodes linear interpolation is used to obtain the values of the pressure on the control volume surfaces right p lowercase w and p lowercase e uh, in in this uniform grid in terms of the node uh, values as follows uh, here uh, this relationship means that nodes are used one by one to calculate the pressure gradient okay in other words we skip the cell value of pressure at the node p there is no value of the pressure at this node in this uh, in this expression the same can also be seen by integrating the expression of the velocity gradient in the continuity equation right uh, considering a linear profile for velocity we will have the following uh, equation this relationship right we again skip the cell value of velocity at the node p uh, this is exactly the so-called checkboard problem okay there are uh, two solutions uh, to this problem first is using a staggered grid for, for velocity in other words velocity and pressure values are stored in different nodes uh, the second is using a collocated grid together with the Rai and Chow interpolation technique Let's first talk about this staggered grid. Um, um, one remedy to eliminate the so-called checkboard problem in the pressure and velocity fields is using a staggered grid. Um, this figure here uh, shows a two-dimensional uniform staggered grid. Uh, in this form, it is easy to distinguish the main control volume from the displaced or the staggered control volume. Okay, the pressure is stored in the center of the main control volume, and the velocity components are stored in the center of the displaced control volume, which are in fact the faces of the main control. Uh, volume uh, scalar quantities such as enthalpy temperature and all the fluid properties such as density and uh, transport coefficients are stored in the center of the main control volume uh, one advantage of the staggered grid method is that there is no need for interpolation to calculate the velocity components on the control volume surfaces right because the velocity uh, components are uh, in, in the staggered grid are in fact calculated and stored on the control volume surfaces therefore the possibility of oscillations in the velocity field is eliminated another important point here is that the pressure gradient between two nodes indicates exactly the velocity between the two nodes okay uh, further the velocity components are stored at points that are necessary to ensure the mass conservation here in fact the up as shown here in the staggered grid is the same as the u lowercase w in the unstaggered grid right uh, in the unstaggered grid we had to perform a linear interpolation uh, for the calculation of this uh, velocity component right which created the the checkboard problem and however here interpolation is no longer necessary because the velocity is calculated exactly where it is needed okay uh, another method to solve the so-called checkboard problem is to use the collocated grid to store velocity and pressure values in the center of the control volumes okay in the collocated grid the interpolation method to calculate the velocities on the surfaces of control volumes is changed and the Ryan Chow interpolation technique is used instead uh, in 1983, Ryan Chow uh, proposed the use of a collocated grid to calculate velocity components. To describe the proposed method, consider the eastern surface of a control volume as shown in this figure. Okay, uh, the eastern surface, which we can see 
here okay uh, the discretized form of the uh, of the momentum equations uh, in one dimension <coughs> is as follows right uh, this equation here uh, now can be rewritten as follows okay we can re rewrite this equation as this one now, uh, by subtracting the pressure gradient from the velocity field, uh, we obtain a new velocity field. Okay. In fact, we subtract the pressure gradient in each control volume from the velocity stored in the center of the same control volume. Okay. We can see here we are subtracting the pressure gradients. Okay, from the uh, values from the from the velocity fields right in uh, in the centers of the control volumes P and E. Okay, uh, by using a linear interpolation now, the velocity is obtained at the uh, at the control volume surface E, as shown here. We can obtain this velocity value now. Okay, we have the values here, right? Just using a linear interpolation, we can obtain the value of the velocity as the, at the control volume surface E. Uh, however, we have to remember that uh, first the pressure gradient has to be added now to calculate the velocity over the control volume surface. Okay, um, as can be seen here, we have to add again the the pressure gradient that was subtracted um, before. Right. The important point here is that we do not obtain the pressure gradient by interpolation, but we calculate it at the control volume surface as shown here. Okay. This method of calculating velocity on control volume surfaces is called Rai and Chow interpolation technique. All the velocity components on the control volume surfaces are calculated with this type of interpolation. These velocity components are used to calculate the diffusion and convection values on control volume surfaces. Substituting these equations here into uh, this equation, we, we, we have the velocity value at the eastern side of the control volume as follows, as shown in this equation. It is observed that, in fact, the use of Ryan Chow interpolation technique is like adding a pressure diffusion term, which is proportional to a third order pressure gradient, as we can see here. The purpose of this phrase here is in fact to eliminate the so-called checkboard problem, i.e. pressure and velocity fluctuations. In the continuity equation, this expression is proportional to the fourth order pressure gradient. Okay? How this expression appears can be shown by substituting the velocity values calculated using the same interpolation technique in the continuity equation okay uh, here we can see the fourth order pressure uh, gradient for more information about the staggered and collocated grid arrangements i recommend watching the video in my channel entitled pressure velocity coupling staggered and collocated grid arrangements now let's see uh, how the simple algorithm is used to solve the momentum equations in staggered and collocated grid uh, arrangements. First, uh, let's talk about the staggered grid. Uh, simple algorithm and its other variations are pressure-based methods that are widely used to solve incompressible fluid flow problems. In case of the compressible flows, density-based methods are used, which are beyond the, the scope of this video. Uh, the main idea behind the simple algorithm is to obtain a discretized equation for pressure and to correct the pressure using the continuity equation. For simplicity in describing the solution process, the equations are expressed on the eastern surface according to the following figure. Obviously, these equations can be generalized to other surfaces in the same way. 
the whole solution process in the simple method is uh, as follows okay uh, first uh, a pressure field p asterisk is guessed and then uh, momentum equations uh, are solved to obtain the corresponding guessed velocity field u asterisk v asterisk and w asterisk <clears throat> then the pressure correction equation is solved okay however uh, let's see first what is the pressure correction equation uh, the pressure and velocity fields can be obtained uh, by using these equations okay here p asterisk and u asterisk are the gas pressure and velocity fields while uh, p prime and u prime are the pressure and velocity corrections respectively uh, so uh, we show the correction made in velocity by means of pressure correction as uh, u prime uh, these equations mean that the pressure and velocity fields are the summations of the gas fields and the corrected fields right uh, so we need an equation for the pressure correction for this purpose if we subtract the discretized momentum equations where we use the uh, the guessed fields from the momentum equations uh, where we use the real fields we uh, we can obtain the following equation okay um, uh, so uh, let's have a closer look at this uh, at, at this equation here um, this equation can be simplified by ignoring uh, this phrase as being highlighted here okay uh, this relation now this relation can now be uh, written as this one okay this equation here is known as the velocity correction equation uh, the pressure correction equation can be obtained by substituting the velocity correction equation this one into the discretized continuity equation as follows the source phrase here in the pressure correction equation indicates the residue our goal is to use the pressure correction to eliminate this residue now let's uh, go back to the simple algorithm okay we solve the pressure correction equation here okay uh, then uh, then the pressure field is obtained uh, by this by the summation of the gas pressure and the corrected pressure the velocity field is then uh, obtained using the velocity correction equation as shown here okay and finally uh, the pressure field that we just obtained here okay is used as the new gas pressure field and the process is repeated until convergence is achieved in the solution okay note that the pressure correction equation in the simple algorithm is the relationship between the velocity and pressure fields to drive them to values that satisfy both the continuity and momentum equations now let's talk about the simple algorithm in collocated grid arrangement uh, for simplicity in describing the solution process the equations are uh, expressed under control volume p according to the following figure okay um, obviously these equations can be generalized to other control volumes in the same way okay the whole solution process in this method is as follows first um, a pressure f a pressure field p asterisk is guessed then momentum equations are solved to obtain the corresponding guessed velocity field u asterisk v asterisk and uh, w asterisk then uh, the pressure correction equation is solved okay here again the source phrase in the pressure correction equation 
indicates the residue our goal is to use pressure correction to eliminate this residue um, then the pressure field is obtained uh, by the summation of the gas field and the uh, and the corrected field okay and after that the velocity field is obtained using the velocity correction equation as shown here okay and again finally the pressure field that is obtained here is used as the new guest pressure field and the process is repeated until convergence is achieved in the uh, in the solution okay so uh, as can be inferred the simple algorithm is generally the same in both the staggered and collocated grid arrangements the main difference between them is how these methods uh, resolve the checkboard problem appeared in the process of discretization of the velocity and pressure fields so the summary of what I talked about in this video, we learned that uh, what the origin of the so-called checkboard problem in the pressure and velocity fields is. We also learned that how we can use either uh, either a staggered or collocated grid arrangement to solve this problem. And finally, we learned that how the simple algorithm is employed to solve the pressure velocity coupling problem in both the staggered and collocated grid arrangements okay this is the end of this video i hope you found this video useful please let me know what you think about this video by leaving a comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video and for further upcoming videos please subscribe to this channel